I want to start doing a charity video every year on this channel and I've not done one so far in 2019 so I had an idea. What about a hole in one challenge? You know, golf. For every time I didn't get a hole in one, I'll donate one dollar to a chosen charity and hopefully that will encourage people who watch the video to also do the same and will raise a few bucks for charity. So, I have never played golf. I mean, I've swung a club, so I know I suck. But armed with some hand-me-down clubs from my brother and some determination, I was pretty confident. Here's what happened. So this is our first day. Uh, we're heading to the golf course now. It's just before 7 a.m. <laughs> Everything I've read and everyone I've spoke to, I just don't think that, that, that this is that hard. Not looking very much like a golfer, I pitched up at Kingeni Golf Course in Dundee, who kindly allowed me to film here. This is a beautiful course with a nice short 130 yard par 3 on the 9th. Should be easy. Here we go, this is day one, hour zero. That was quite a large divot there. <laughs> Let's just slow that down a bit, Michael. That's twice I've airballed it. That's shocking. Right, nice and slow. Ah, oh, that's in the water. Initially, things were not good. Exactly but then, this happened. Maybe I was in with a shout. Okay, so here's the script. According to the National Hole in One Association, which is a thing by the way, the odds of an amateur golfer getting a hole in one are roughly 12 and a half thousand to one. If you're a really good golfer and you play off one, two or three, then that number goes down to 5,000 to one. And if you are a PGA Tour professional, then it goes as low as two and a half thousand to one on any given par three. That's pretty unlikely. To put this into perspective, Tiger Woods has only had three holes in one in his professional career. However, my thinking is that since I'm playing the same hole over and over, I can learn the intricacies of the green like the bounce and run and perfect my distance over time. I reckon this will double or even quadruple my chances over just hitting the ball once. So I set aside $3,000 as a maximum, that's 3,000 swings, just to make sure I don't go broke planting trees. All right, day two. There is no wind, the green is really wet. Ideal conditions. Five feet. All right, let's hit some balls. All right, I got a good feeling about this. The difficulty here wasn't being patient. It was draining waking up every day super early to get out before people started playing the course. But the worst part was the pitch marks. Every single time the ball landed on the green, the mark it left behind must be repaired. Hundreds and hundreds of them. I suppose they are quite bad. Despite this, I soldiered on and was getting closer. This is a dramatic improvement. Look at that, scatter. So close.
Look at that sunrise. 6 a.m. This is my closest one yet. Getting agonisingly close this many times, I knew I would get it. It was just a matter of time. Gonna have a big supper tonight, eh? <laughs> well, I'll float the bomb. Okay. How silly of me. After months of attempts, I'd gotten close. But close isn't good enough for this one. Absolutely great day for it today. My patience was also wearing thin. By late November, I was 2,900 bucks down and on my last 100 shots. Hey, right, this is it. This is the last one. Nope. I gave him my best shot. Ah, it's highly improbable. So, this challenge sadly had me beat. The good news is that now I am committed to donating three grand to charity and this money will be going to Team Trees. In case you haven't heard of Team Trees, it's an initiative headed up by Mr Beast, Mark Rober and the Arbor Day Foundation. Here's the bottom line, for every dollar donated to this campaign, one tree will be planted. The goal for this YouTube-wide campaign is to raise 20 million dollars, that's 20 million trees planted by the year 2020. And by the time you are watching this, we are very almost there. And with your help, we will cross the 20 million dollar mark by 2020. That is incredible. If you enjoy this content and you want to help plant a few trees, then click the button somewhere around me here and donate to the Arbor Day Foundation, that's the Team Trees Project, to help us get to our goal. Donating is super easy, you can do it on YouTube and you can give as little as a dollar. And this is a really good cause that won't necessarily fix climate change, but is a huge step in the right direction from the YouTube community. Thank you very much for watching and for any donations.